Welcome to Channel 2S everybody. I'm your host Second Soundwave and it's review time once again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the high grade Build Divers Gundam Age 2 Magnum. The H2 Magnum borrows very heavily from the high grade Gundam H2 Normal from Gundam Age. This is a 7 or 8 year old mold, so a lot of people have some understandable concerns about this kit. There's been a lot of advances in Gunpla in the last few years, so the natural question everyone has is, does this stack up to the newer kits? And the answer is, yes. Yes it does. From a visual standpoint, the Gundam Age 2 Magnum looks great. I love the use of the clear green on the shoulders and the purple they chose for the body is an excellent color. From head to toe, this is a very nice looking model and the only stickers used are for the sensors on the head and weapons. If I really had to pick on one part of this kit, it would be the build quality. For the most part, it's a fairly solid model, but the poly cap that holds the legs onto the waist is a little bit looser than I would like. Because of how loose that joint is, the kit can swing side to side pretty easily but fortunately that's something you can very easily tighten up with a little bit of nail polish, top coat, or super glue. These purple cuffs around the wrist can also be removed fairly easily, but don't glue them down. You have to remove and reattach these to both transform the suit and attach the shield. And that's a great way to segue into the weapons, which I'm not going to talk about right now because I do articulation first. Head looks up, looks down, rotates, the shoulders hinge up at the torso. They've also got a universal joint that lets them rotate around. The funnels can pivot and hinge side to side. The funnel mount can rotate, bicep swivel, satisfactory double jointed elbow, every high grade hand ever. Torso goes from here to here, and from here to here. Full waist rotation, and if you cheat and use one of the transformation joints, you can get even more of an ab crunch, or break his back. Side skirts up, front skirts up, back skirts up. Great front to back on the hips, full side to side split, hips move side to side, thigh rotation, double jointed knee, ankle guard, ankle forward, ankle back, ankle in, ankle out, and finally, to top it all off, a toe bend. The articulation of this kit leaves me with nothing to complain about. Every joint that you could hope for in a modern high grade is present and accounted for. When it comes time to actually pose the kit though, there are a couple minor issues. Like I said earlier in the video, the hip joint's a little bit loose, and also the funnels have a tendency to collide with everything. But once you figure out how to work around the funnels, this kit is very, very fun to pose. Beyond the display base, this kit comes with a pretty satisfactory spread of accessories. As usual, I'm gonna start with the basics, the beam sabers. The beam saber hilts are stored in the back skirt for the kit and they slide out just like a real life sword. Now in reality you don't usually store a sword with the handle in the sheath but whatever it's still a cool feature. Two flat red age style blades are included for the handles. They fit right in the normal holding hands and they look about as cool as you could expect beam sabers to look. The H2 Magnum also comes with a shield for more defensive situations. The shield for this is very cool. I do like the green effect part on the front and while I did call this a defensive weapon I could very easily see this being used to attack as well. Attaching this shield to the arm is very very simple. You just take that flat gray peg and stick it in the arm cuff. The reason I told you not to glue down that little cuff piece earlier is because you can pull it off if you want and then reattach it so the shield's on the bottom of his arm instead. But I like to display my kits with the shield on the side of the arm so that's how I have him now. The primary range weapon of this model is the beam rifle. It's a pretty nice looking weapon and it's even got some moving parts on it like this and this and this. Just like the beam sabers, the rifle slots into his hands very easily, and once you have the purple part pressed around the bottom of his arm, he holds onto it pretty well. If you do find for some reason that he's not holding it as securely as you'd like, you can just squeeze these two purple parts together and that'll tighten up the connection a bit. Beyond weapons, this kit also has two alternate hands for the left arm. You get one that's a closed fist, and then another one that's more of a splayed open hand. Personally, I find the open hand to be a lot more useful. Gundam Build Divers is the sequel to Build Fighters, and like Build Fighters, all the kits have at least one or two pretty cool gimmicks built into them. So let's see what the H2 Magnum's got in store for us. I've been referring to these energy pieces attached to his shoulders as funnels, and that is exactly what they are. You can remove all four funnels from the shoulders, and I gotta ask you guys a question. Does this or does this not look like the Gundam Geminas when you take off the funnels? I think it does, and I think that's pretty awesome. If you want to, you can take the funnels and hinge them open at the middle, but this is primarily for another gimmick we'll be looking at later. What you're supposed to do with the funnels is attach them to the extra funnel armatures included with the Action Base 4, Action Base 5, or Diver Gear. I'm really glad they made the kit compatible with these type of stands because it makes it much easier to display the kit with the funnels deployed. And if you use a clear Action Base, the effect's even cooler. Another really cool thing the Magnum can do with its funnels is hold them as a pair of energy swords. 
There's little handles on the bottom of the funnels, and if you slot those in the hands just like a pair of regular old beam savers, you got yourself a pretty awesome looking setup. But there's one last thing I gotta show you guys, and that's the transformation. Cue the music. Remove, 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 extend, conceal, rotate, push, rotate, 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 bend, bend, rotate, bend, bend, attach, 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 rotate, 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 extend, extend, remove, rotate, attach, rotate, attach, collapse, and finally, attach the shield. The transformation is a lot more fun than I expected. Even though the manual tells you to take the arms off, the only piece of parts forming that's truly required is that one component in the hips. Everything else is just good old fashioned transformation. The head's almost completely concealed. It doesn't look like a mobile suit lying on its face. This is about as good as a transforming high grade can get. Before I leave you guys with my final thoughts, here's a quick comparison with the Clanch Custom as well as a few fun facts about the kit. Fact number one, you get enough spare parts to build a second copy of the shield. The only piece you don't get is the connector itself. Fact number two, the faceplate and front skirts from the original Age 2 Normal are also included. And finally, fact number three is that there were only two facts, so let's move on to my final thoughts on this kit. The Gundam Age 2 Magnum from High Grade Build Divers is a good kit. The transformation is fun, the flight mode is solid, the weapons are great, and the funnels give you some great display options. With the posability and general appearance of this kit being great as well, and an included display stand on top of everything else, I have no choice but to give this kit the thumbs up. This probably won't be my favorite kit from Gundam Build Divers once everything's said and done, but it's still a great way to start the line. I'm your host, Second Soundwave. Thanks for watching this video. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for Gunpla news, reviews, and more. Leave a like if you enjoy this video. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.